Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Well, Solo, a Star Wars story, was definitely not the Star Wars film that either Lucasfilm and especially Disney was looking for as it underperformed in the domestic market and international markets. Basically, it bombed. And this is something that is having an immediate effect on Disney, the actual owner of Lucasfilm and the Star Wars property, and also future prospects for any additional Star Wars films or tie-ins in the whole Star Wars universe. Now, I did go into this a lot further in terms of the whole box office performance. If you wanted to see me talk about that, I do have it in a link area below where I talk about it on my Go Movies channel. But what I really wanted to talk about here is the marketing, specifically Solo versus Deadpool 2. There is a distinct approach to how these movies were marketed and also the box office reception and the audience reception to these two movies. Now, the difference is Deadpool 2 is still a hit. People are still watching this movie. It's already earned $500 million in the global box office. It's earned $218 million domestically, and it's still going to make more money. Deadpool 2 set records when it was released, but all for the right reasons. It broke records. Whereas Solo's Star Wars movies set records in the other way, you know, for being a low performing Star Wars movies, for underperforming, and also the whole audience reaction to the actual movie itself and just the Star Wars franchise in general. Now, if you actually look at the tomato scores, these aren't bad scores. Uh, this was actually lower, but you got to think about that this is a Star Wars film. And from all the reviews for Solo, it is not a horrible movie at all. But the interest and excitement over a Star Wars film is just not there for this one versus previous Star Wars movies. But then when you look at something like Deadpool 2, the audience definitely enjoyed this, critics as well. And I have to talk about this just briefly. Cobra Kai is still at 100% for critics and 96% of people who liked it. And so what is the huge difference between the two? Well, if you think about the marketing that Solo had around it, whether it was the PR marketing or actually the actual marketing that surrounded it, it was mostly negative. You know, a lot of people were not talking about Solo as a good movie. If anything, it was a lot of bad press. You know, a lot of people who are diehard Star Wars fans actually wanted to boycott this movie. Uh, and then also audiences in general. And it's not just here in the United States. It was all around the world was just not interested at all. And so if you look at any of the news, there's probably a lot more controversy, a lot more negative things on there. You know, such things as Lando's pan preferences, you know, was some of the top stories. Whereas it should have been more about Solo, you know, the Han character, everything that was surrounding that, you know, all the good things about it. Because I really don't know much about the movie. And that's something that is really surprising since it is a Star Wars film. A lot of more people should have been buzzing about all the great things about it. Okay, so when it comes to marketing, that's one thing that you should have. You should have a really good buzz. And if it is controversial, it should be things that should actually make people excited for a Star Wars film instead of getting into all this controversy that surrounds it. And a lot of it has been mixed in terms of actual audience reviews from people on YouTube. And so... You know, that's always not a good thing, okay? Now, if you look at the opposite of that, how Deadpool 2 was marketed, it was marketed to the fans. That's first and foremost. There were so many spots that Deadpool 2 did, even before the movie, that just built up a lot of excitement for the film. There was a lot of humor, a lot of wink-wink nods. And if you actually watch the movie, there is plenty of fan service for all the comic book and uh, Deadpool fans out there. Whereas for Star Wars... I don't really feel that the marketing was all there for it. You know, it just really wasn't. And so if you look around the internet, you will see a stark difference in marketing uh, surrounding both of these movies. And in general, Solo was more negative and mixed and very controversial in a lot of places. But then if you look at all the news for Deadpool 2, all the marketing, whether it was planned or unplanned, it was pretty much all good. You know, so this was a funny movie. Uh, this was one that catered to uh, not only the actual fans themselves, but also the mainstream audiences. And if you look at the box office, not only domestically, but most importantly, internationally, the audience came out and watched this movie. And so that's the big difference whenever you think about these two properties. 
Uh, marketing is very important to any of these entertainment properties. And whenever you have things that are marketed in a way that doesn't help your brand, uh, it doesn't really make the audiences excited about it. So then what you end up seeing is something like this where you get underwhelming results and at the same time the whole backlash and uh, you know, continued success of this franchise is now actually in question. Whereas for something like Deadpool 2, it looks like we're going to get more Deadpool movies and maybe an X-Force movie as well. And so if you had any thoughts on anything that I've talked about today, uh, the marketing between Solo and Deadpool 2, or maybe how you felt about the disappointing performance of Solo, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you actually wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you would get access to 30 free videos and more continuing content for all their creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. All you have to do is simply go to the link below, head over to our page and join my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks a lot and I will see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.